Good morning, y'all. Happy Monday. Welcome back to a week in my life vlog. This is a big week. I'm going to get my hair done right now. Wednesday, well, tomorrow's my birthday. I forgot about that. Wednesday, I go to LA. I'm in studio. And then Friday, I'm going to Eras. The girls are meeting me in LA this weekend. We're doing a little girls weekend. I got invited to Eras and I got a plus one. So Marissa and Lauren are coming a night early. I go Wednesday. They get their Thursday. Presley test get their Friday. Anyways, long story short, Marissa had plans Friday night, told me and Lauren that and like to make plans other plans and then I got an email from Love Wellness inviting me and um, a plus one to Eras in a suite. So I'm going for the third time and I'm surprising Lauren. I'm excited because the tickets I bought for Dallas originally were for us, but she couldn't go. So this is gonna be so much fun. I'm gonna surprise her day of. It's gonna be great. So anyways, I'm on my way to get my M School's Neo appointment over with for this week. They're so easy. I'm talking about this a lot on Instagram. And then I'm getting new extensions today long hair appointment and then I need to pack for LA and then get my life together. I got back from the lake yesterday. I dropped Dom and Sav off at the airport at like five and then I went and worked out and I'm gonna see them literally on Wednesday. So anyways, this should be a good long week in my life vlog. Hope you guys enjoy. Subscribe if y'all are new here. I'm very excited. I spent pretty much all day today in the hair chair. I got new extensions, new color, went a little bit darker. And here we are, it's 7 p.m. I've had a lot of drama. My air garden, because it's saying to add more plant food, and I have, and I feel like I've added too much, and it still is going red for the plant food, and my dill died overnight, and the dill's taking over. Just herb garden drama, you know, and now my base is not looking great either, and I'm just, it's stressing me out. So anyways, um, yeah, I like my hair a lot. It is great, Madison Piper hair in Dallas. She's actually in Plano now, and it's amazing. So anyways, I'm going to probably order dinner, shower, and have a nice night in, because this week is going to be filled with people, and I need my alone time. Good morning guys, it is my birthday. I celebrated really this weekend, so I'm not doing anything today. Um, my mom and my grandma and Sophie, my niece, are coming over and I need to pack because I leave for LA tomorrow. And yeah, I woke up early, I'm going to Hot Pilates. They just added a 7 a.m. class, which really, only on the days that I go to, which is perfect, I've been wanting a 7 a.m. class for like two years. Like 7 a.m. workouts are really just the best. 6 a.m. you feel so good and you're like, wow, I left it, it's amazing. But like 7, it's not like hard to get up and it's not like the worst thing ever. I mean, sometimes it's hard to get up, but you know what I mean. So anyways, I'm going to make myself some coffee and then head out to Pilates. But I, uh, last night, Macy came over to give me my birthday gift. And if you guys know, uh, she has this whole like ongoing joke about how I'm like in my 40s. And my birthday card said, happy birthday, grandma. So, love that. Um, but looks like we're gonna go. Sorry, I didn't vlog much yesterday. I was just sitting there getting my hair done and working, but I like it. I did go in a little bit darker, um, and I kind of regret going darker. I don't know. I can't decide yet, and like, I don't know. I like it, but I'm like, should I have kept it lighter? I don't know. I really don't know what I did in my life before an ice roller, specifically the Skinny Confidential one, because it's so much better. Like, did I just walk around like a blowfish at all times? I'm serious. I kind of think that I did. Anyways, I think we're going to go in the pool today. We're just going to chill at my house. I don't really want to do anything. I have so much laundry I need to do, so much packing. I kind of want to see Barbie, but we'll see how I'm feeling. I don't know. Maybe I will go see it. All right, y'all, I'm back from our morning appointments. Coco also has an ear infection, so I, I took her to the vet, but it's noon now, and I just got ready. I'm wearing this dress that I don't know why I never wear it, because I actually love it. Pretty sure it's from Princess Polly, but it's the cutest dress ever. I just love a maxi dress in the summer, and then, of course, my favorite Jennifer Fisher. Sunglasses, Jen or no, not Jennifer Fisher, Jenny Bird sunglasses. Jenny Bird earrings, and then my favorite Marty bag. A very summer look. Um, my mom, my grandma, and my niece are coming over. We're doing it at lunch, and then I think we're just gonna go 
in my pool. So it's a very chill day and tonight I just need to pack for LA and just like get my life together. Very, very chill birthday. Okay, we're at lunch and Sophie and I got Shirley Temples. Hudson that's, House. That'll be, that'll be Shirley. She said happy birthday, love you. I showered, I self tanned, I'm in the middle of doing laundry and packing for LA this week. That is really it, I spent the afternoon in my pool with my mom and Sophie. I'm just gonna like chill and download some books and get ready. I have to send footage over and just like get, get myself prepped. But I pretty much have everything packed. It was a pretty easy packing job. Um, I'm just switching over bags and like moving stuff. And yeah, I'm actually looking forward to LA. I'm a little bit anxious. I don't know why. I think maybe just because I'm like traveling. I don't know, but yeah, we're ready and I will probably see you guys tomorrow. y'all it's wednesday i'm officially 26 years old i'm heading out to a workout really quick and then i'm leaving for the airport it's like 5 30 right now six i need to leave soon um i've decided in my 26th year it's finally come to me also my herb garden is like dead because i put too much plant food in because it wasn't putting the green light on and now i'm like it's really ugly and sad because it was so beautiful. So I think I'm just gonna replant everything. I don't even wanna show you guys because I'm ashamed. But I've decided of my 26th year, I'm going to take more risk. Like, and not necessarily career-wise when I am. I don't have a problem taking risks like work-wise because I'm a lot less like, afraid of failure these days and I'm, I don't know, like I don't feel like that's my issue with work. My issue is in my actual personal life. So I've decided I'm gonna live a little. I mentioned this on the podcast, add more chaos into my life. But really I think it's just that I am in such a soft, comfortable, cushioned place in my life where I'm like so guarded more so like romantically but like in every I feel like it translates to other things I just like think too much about things and I don't live so that's what I've decided it's gonna be my 26th year it makes me literally sick to my stomach I don't actually want to do any of that but I'm gonna like I'm gonna try and then this time next year I'll be like oh no issue you know slowly but surely so anyways I'm wearing I have Amazon workout set and then this is a set active Hoodie, it's a great hoodie by the way. Just ice rolling away. We're gonna head out. Good morning, LA. It's Thursday. I'm going to the dry I'm going to get a blowout and then I'm going to the studio all day. Um, I'm wearing a very like Sophia Richie look. This is all from Macy's. These pants, okay, I should have gotten a size small, so size down. These pants right here are the most comfortable pants I've ever worn. They're like work pants, but they're so soft, like you have no idea. The whole outfit is Macy's, and then these are Sam Edelman, I'll link below. But Dom and I are gonna go get Blue Bottle, and then I'm going to Dry Bar, and we're just, we're getting it together. So, anyways, here's my look. I'm obsessed with these shoes too. We're gonna leave soon. Girlies are back at Blue Bottle. We have our blue bottle. We have our blue bottle. Like good old times. And it was just very nostalgic going there because college, if you guys remember, was so the, fun for us. I think this is probably just if you had a bad college experience, but like when I'm back in West Hollywood, I'm like, mm. like, it, like, <laughs> I mean, I'm like, like, oh. Like I get this visceral. I feeling. get like the yeah, ick. Like I'm like, oh, I hate this. Or like, you know, when you just like go through a bad time in life and then when you're there, like I've always said this to Dom because I like hate Venice, but I think like like when I moved to LA, I must have been having like a really bad day when we went to Venice. And like ever since then, I just like haven't been able to get behind Venice. Like okay, I, I, it just I had a I you know when you're just like in such a bad mental state and then like yeah. the place it's not really the place's fault, it's just because you were there. Yeah. But like that's also kinda how I feel about like Los Angeles as a whole, like not looking back on it, but like being here, it's just like, ooh. like at least you have like new memories, and I do have new memories, but like they're not strong enough to overtake what we they're not strong went enough. through. You know, um, like I was just going back, like I remember when this boy was texting all these mean things. I remember when this other boy took me there to apologize or something, and we were there for like realistically like two hours, and there was no apology. It was just him telling me that I'm a horrible person. 
Um, we're just some really sketchy times, specifically at that model. Yeah, like a lot of things. <sighs> Don't miss mess, America. Oh. Mess. So I have uh, my drop bar appointment in 13 minutes. Do they wash your hair? Mm hmm. They don't have to. You can do dry styling, but I always get my hair washed. No. I'm actually never done dry styling. Oh, so do sorry, y'all. Do they just getting ready right now? I'm back at Dom's. I thought I was gonna go straight to the studio, and then I checked my calendar, and my recording was like an hour later. So I'm doing my makeup here, and then I need to leave for the studio in like 40 minutes. Um, I'm also like drying those pants to make them like smaller so they fit better, but. Doing a little bit of makeup. So today I'm recording, I don't even have my primer on yet, using the Say primer. Today I'm recording with Nicole Walters, who's one of my favorite people to record with. She also has a podcast with Jeremia, and she's just incredible. I'm recording with Brett, like Brett's Bites on Instagram, Half Baked Harvest, and then Jessa. Jessa is, I've said this a billion times, but Jessa's a very good friend of mine, and she's the, also the author of Magnolia Parks. She um, is the whole reason that the podcast switched to like navigating your 20s or started having like that is a very common theme because I did that episode with her and it did so well, and you guys like loved it so much with that topic and her. So we're gonna do another one, and that was before Magnolia Parks was out. If y'all are new or if y'all are not into reading, Magnolia Parks is like one of the most popular books right, right now, but. At that point, we talked about Magnolia Parks in those, in those episodes. It wasn't out yet, but I would read them already, and I just love them. So, then after that, I'm going to go help Jessa, Marissa, and Lauren get in tonight. Um, and I'm really excited about surprising Lauren with Eras. She, I think, has, like, no idea. I don't know why she even would, because we haven't even been talking about it. Like, when we first decided we were going to come to LA this weekend, and I was like, I'm going to do a show, and we should do a trip. Um, I was like, we can also like make it to Eras, and then like tickets just were so expensive. So we were like, no, like whatever, and then we kind of just like got off the topic, because like nosebleeds right now are literally $1,400. Also, this morning, um, she announced her second leg for North America, which is next fall, which I knew was going to happen. I just had a feeling. Um, and Sophie has just recently become a Taylor Swift fan. I just got her on Taylor Swift, finally, after trying so hard. And she wants to go. So I will be fighting for tickets for next fall, and I will be taking Sophie to her first Taylor Swift concert, and it will be, honestly, the best day of my life. Maybe not hers. It will. She'll love it, but more mine. So anyways, doing that, and then going to Justice tonight, and then we have to check into our hotel tonight. And then tomorrow we're checking into a new Airbnb because our like bookings got messed up. So we're kind of gonna be all over the place. But I'm just like so excited for this weekend. Over the live show, we're doing like bracelet bar, we're doing um, like custom cocktails, like Macy's open. It's gonna be like so fun. And we're doing like a cocktail hour vibe. So I'll be able to like meet everyone. Normally with shows, we don't do that. We're not able to do that. This is a smaller show, so it's like easier. Um, but yeah, I'm just so excited guys so i'm gonna um uh, listen to some country and Gertie also just like on the topic of like how la always makes me feel weird because it like takes me back to a place in my life that like i honestly hate like i just hate remembering it which is like kind of depressing because like i also had good times here i know but like i don't know i feel like it just is like so like like overshadowed i guess by like the bad memories whatever um every time i'm here i just realize more and more even though obviously I know I'm like very Texan. I'm just so much more Texan than I thought. Like even growing up, I was like, no. And then I'm like, no, I really am. Like, and I don't mean conservative. I mean like, just like Texan. Like, I don't know. Like I just, I don't know. And this morning, like literally everyone I encountered was rude. And I was like, I don't even remember that about LA. Like I don't remember everyone being rude. They're just like, not nice today. And like not everyone in LA, like people are actually really nice. Like you're gonna find what you're looking for places. I always say that, but like today everyone was like so mean. And I'm like, guys, we are waking up on the wrong side of the bed. But hey, maybe there's some bad days. So anyways, gonna go and we will check in at the studio. Guys, okay, so it's now Friday morning. It's Eros Day. Lauren and Marissa have arrived. The other girls get here later tonight. 
Lauren is go Marissa had plans originally, told us to make plans on Friday. <laughs> and yeah. then I got invited to Eras, but I was gonna surprise Lauren. Yeah. And I guess yesterday when they flew in, tell the uh, Yeah, the I was I was telling um, Lauren how everyone was going to Eras tonight and she was like, Oh yeah, like I would go but I wouldn't pay four hundred dollars for a ticket. No, I would but, only want to go for free. That but part. the no, the rare beauty part where she's like, oh yeah, yeah the how part. rare beauty was sending like everyone to uh, eras, and she was like, well, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Where's our invite, rare beauty? She has literally no idea. So we're going to get Alfred because it's her favorite coffee, and then coming back. Yeah. And then there is a box that I got yesterday at Dom's. Yeah. Um, I might have her open that because there's yeah, like I was about to say it's not super eras. But like does there stay? does have one thing that's airs and it has a bag in it for her to mm. bring because you have to have like a clear bag. Yeah, but we were Kenzie and I were trying to get out of the hotel room <laughs> like super quietly and we're like barely like making any noises and she like sits up but we both like go down like <laughs> as underneath if that was gonna the like bed do. as if that was gonna do anything. And then she thought we left. And then she thought we were mad at her. Because <laughs> are you guys mad at me? <laughs> I'm so excited. Can you imagine? We got her Alfred order ice milk latte with oat milk. Okay, I got a chocolate for myself. I got Lauren her ice vanilla latte with oat milk. She, Alfred's like her favorite coffee shop ever. I like blue bottle, she likes Alfred. And you guys can't even see because it's dark, but I just did that. How cute. I'm getting nervous. Yeah, I would I would love to get invited to the one that's going. <laughs> I'm nervous. All right, guys, we're about to walk in. I'm like really nervous, like really, really stressed. Guys, I'm so nervous. Okay, I got this, don't worry. Okay, we're back in the hotel. We got Alfred. I know, shut up. why it took so long, I'm sorry. It's okay. And we went to the furthest one, of course, on accident. But got you a coffee. Yes, we did. You should look at your cup. No. Shut up. Wait, what are you talking about? Well, for yeah. free? <laughs> you might have, a, I might have a little surprise. No, I might actually. Really Just scared. keep opening the box. I thought you were talking about the set. I was like, yeah, I have an appointment on Tuesday. The set? There's a set. Thing. Oh. <laughs> We're going to Ares in a suite. Shut the fuck up. I know. What did I say last night? I know, I, I told, told her. her. That's why I literally I love a Walmart. I literally I just They're opening. Love Honest is opening at Walmart. That's why uh, we're going to Ares. Shut the fuck up. No, literally. But that's why I literally couldn't talk to you. I was so stressed. I was like, I can't even talk to you. Wait, I'm gonna cry. No, I literally, I was like, I can't <laughs> talk to you. Stop me right now. <laughs> I know. I, like the, I love the Walmart hat. It's actually really Can cute. you believe I kept that a secret for that long? No. I was gonna tell you to help you do it. It's outfit, been weeks. But I told you like a barbie oh thing. We have to go shopping. shopping. We're gonna go We're shopping. We're gonna go shopping. That's why it doesn't like, matter. Like I'm wearing a normal dress. That's why I told you to bring your birthday dress. Yeah. So I was like, that's actually really cute. Wait, tomorrow. Wait, is this tomorrow? It's no, today. it's tonight. Oh we have to leave at three thirty. Yeah. We have to be there at three. Yeah. Are you so excited? I don't know what to say. Are you surprised? <laughs> yeah. I'll have to bring your little clear bag. I've yeah. been talking about it for like, I don't even think I was talking to you guys about it because I was just like, I really want to go, but also like five so expensive. I told her what you said last night, how you were like, I wouldn't want to. Lauren knows now, so I'm not stressed anymore. I was really stressed. <laughs> mm, she was really stressed. Like, I was just nervous. I don't know. I literally was like, oh my god, I can't talk. Like, I was trying to film and I was like, oh my god. We all know. It no. takes a lot. I was, yeah, I know. And by the way, for me to not be able to talk. Speechless. Speechless? That has happened maybe twice where I'm like, matching. Oh my god, I wish that I had the black version. That's the best bag ever. The Calvin no, bag. It's what I got. It's so good. I'm buying it for everyone for Christmas. Mm -hmm. It Like nothing even compares. So anyways, we're going to go to the Century City Mall. So Lauren can, well, I did have her pack. I think we said this earlier. We did have her pack address we need to like. But just to see if she has something, if she finds something else that she like better. I bet they have like a glam suite in the thing too. So they can like do hair touch ups and stuff. <sighs> I'm so excited. I also wonder who else is going. I did not bring the sweatshirt. 
TK and Peyton are going, I saw that. Which I think that was like last, because I told them, I thought I told them that I was going with them. And so maybe it was last minute or something. I don't even care who's there. Yeah. All right, y'all, we switched to the G7X to vlog. We're on our way. Oh, okay, so I'm wearing this dress that I got from, I'm, from, I'm actually think it's from Naked. I got it randomly and I just love it. And then obviously my Tacovas, the Annie's. And then we went shopping for Lauren. I didn't film because my vlog was, or my camera was dead. Like Zara, Zara Top. And we went to Aritzia. Yeah, and those are really cute. And then we're wearing like easy shoes to walk in. Yeah, these are not cute. They're good. Anyways, we're on our way. We're meeting with Demi early so we can get on their like SUVs to then get to SoFi. I haven't even been to SoFi actually, so. Because I had moved at that point. So, heard great, heard great things. We're going with Love Wellness, as you guys know, that it's now available in Walmart. Um, and yeah, it's gonna be really fun. <laughs> we just made it to the suite and it is the craziest suite. It's literally the biggest suite in the NFL like out there but oh my god like it's unreal it's so insane i'm so grateful oh my god like this is the coolest thing literally ever wow oh my god, like even that is so cute literally speechless it's crazy it's really crazy i love wellness i love wellness Love and I love, and I love wellness. I love wellness. I love wellness. I love wellness. It's actually insane. Oh, it's oh so you stunning. got it too, my girl. Oh, wait. Oh, really? oh, oh, no, no, no. No, no. All right, guys. So, Owen's came on, and we have one more opener, and then we have Taylor. And apparently, it's an extra hour. Set for tonight. Last night is an extra. And tomorrow, yeah. First three nights of LA. Yeah, so I don't know. Ta Taylor went. Last night. Did you really like? Did you notice that it was that much longer? Because it was your second show. Not like, not. I, I mean, I obviously did it, and then today the bar took something. So, but now I'm like, it did feel a little longer. Yeah. Eight to twelve. That's actually crazy. Like three and a half hours. That's crazy. So, anyways, we're ready. How are you feeling? I. This has been the best day of my life. It's been a whirlwind. Yeah, truly. I woke up just expecting coffee. This is a get ready with me. Kenzie's working on her voiceovers and I couldn't be in the room because I think I would scream involuntarily. Me and Tess are so exhausted from the Ares tour. Yeah. Hey. Oh. We're so, so many brand houses to go and we were like, no guys, save the tickets for the actual Taylor Swift fans. We're good. So we're just gonna do a little like outfit of the day. Um, dress Amazon. My sunglasses. Okay. My sunglasses are Amazon. No, I am not sponsored, but if you would like me to, just DM Amazon and ask. Um, my sweatshirt is Mad Happy. My sunglasses are Prada, and then my shorts, I think, are Aritzia. We're pulling a Love Island today. We have shades on inside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know? We're just practicing because we're going to be outside all day. Yeah. And... and we're going to the bars tonight, so we're trying to practice. <laughs> Hi y'all, it's Sunday, so it's a live show day. Um, this is my outfit, it's a more chill show. I have stuff in my eyes and it's driving me insane, but it is a like cocktail hour show on a rooftop, so my outfit's just like a little bit more like 
chill. Basically, dress is Abercrombie, boots are Tacovas, obviously. Ares is amazing. Where's Macy? Ares is amazing. Um, we went to a country night last night and it's like yesterday. Now we're going to the show and look who has just finally arrived. Wait, I think that's Presley too. Oh my gosh, the girlies are here. Yeah, you're fine. Yay. Oh, Macy's practicing. She's opening. I get a mic, right? No, you're actually just gonna like talk to the whole crowd. Yes, Macy, you get a mic. Hey, hey. Uh. hey guys, welcome. <laughs> yeah, am I so awkward? Great, this is <laughs> okay, okay. Oh my gosh, thanks for coming, guys. Um, I have been pretending like this is my show all week long, so. No, you need, you need to go into it fully acting like it's your show and then say, just kidding. Okay, hey guys, welcome to my show. Like, this means so much to have such amazing supporters here. Um, really quick, before we get started, you know what else you should do? What? You should do the Taylor Swift, just like stare at the crowd. <laughs> You're like, wow, <laughs> all for me? <laughs> kind of make me feel like I'm the man. <laughs> like, oh my gosh, guys, like, I feel like Taylor Swift right now with all of you guys here to support me. This means so much. Um, if everyone could just really quick, before we get started with anything, pull out their phones. Okay, I'll give you guys a second. Okay. I'm just gonna post really quick because I don't like seeing angles of myself that I didn't approve of, and I know everyone's gonna wanna post this, so really quick. I'm totally kidding, you actually take a photo. You could also I... say, I've seen the photos of Kinsey on stage. Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah, like, you're like, like eh, I've there's... seen ones that Kenzie reposted herself, and I'm like, that is brave. <laughs> <laughs> One margarita, here we go. Hi guys, Tristan here. Really good to see everyone. It's been a long fucking time so coming. Much. Missed you so much. Did you girls much. say hi? I need one of these little bitches. When you get rid of this one, I want this. <laughs> hey, I'll take it. Anyway, love y'all. We're about to go do the live show. We're being crazy. This photo takes really hot photos too. This photo does? You know all the like hot Instagram photos that I've Yeah. Okay, right at us. Okay, right at Okay, sorry. okay, wait, this photo takes really this awesome photo. photos. Right, wait, guys, turn the flash on. G7X flash. Yeah, G7X flash. Alright, love you guys. Wait, look. Why yeah. did it turn green? green? Yeah. It That's on you, green. babe. I have service. Oh you must be on Mint Mobile or Who something. Who did you text? I want to watch my what I, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you so much. Yeah. What are you most excited about for the show? Kenzie. <laughs> what, are, what are you most excited about? What are you most excited about? Um, I'm most excited to see Macy. Love. I'm a really big fan. Carly, what are you most excited I'm about? I'm excited for the stand-up. We good? Start, someone start. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Hi guys! Hi! Oh, what's up, coming? Uh, we have John Roberts here. Hey guys! Hey guys! Hey guys! And I thought I ate so hard too. No. <laughs> yeah, I'm like wearing this again. She was like, oh, please call my friend Jacob. <laughs> Not me dropping the names. <laughs> Um, I met Kenzie years ago. I actually met Peyton kind of through Kenzie. Yeah. I'm gonna find a wedding housewife era. Two of you as a friend to describe your most embarrassing um, story or where you look back and you're like, oh, oh shit. It doesn't really happen. I get anxiety and I get that stuff, but like. Hi! Hi. Um, welcome back to our channel. <laughs> I was on camera crew all night, so this is the only time you're gonna be seeing me. Um, the show was so good. It was hilarious. My face hurts from laughing. I probably have a 12 pack from laughing so hard. Um, my favorite part was uh, Truth or Drink. What was, your, what was yeah. your favorite part? Agreed. Yeah, yeah. Same. Even well, though Kenzie did not drink enough, Kenzie yeah, decided yeah, to Kenzie bend the rules. Shots, like literally, <laughs> yeah. the she has to add enough. more questions and then just didn't answer yeah. the questions. It was a great show. We had so much fun. Now we're at our favorite part. Goodbye. <laughs> <Yeah>. Don't stop. <laughs> Don't stop. <laughs> we were literally just talking so much yeah. shit. <laughs> what y'all were. Well, our bitches, our but job I love right now is bar. Yeah. My job, job is beach. beach. <laughs> so this is the first episode of the Press and Test podcast. <gasps> Press that and was test. very cute. Press and test adventures. Press and test adventures. 
one of us is batshit crazy and the other one is not, and you have to guess which one. That's what the premise is. The whole show. Yeah, it's intense. We'll put like, we'll just do like different scenarios, we'll, we'll do, little context clues, yes. and it'll be like five and, seasons long. And you have to guess who it happened to. <laughs> I think that would be a hit. You can do it. Okay. <laughs> that was Ooh. mixed. Oh. Don't I make it look easy, <laughs> baby? I'm going and you are Uber XL Black is right there. Her, period. Hey guys, we're currently in the tour bus for I Love You So Much podcast. Oh my god, guys. <laughs> Yeah. Um, this has our ringleader is over here, oh, living her best yeah. after the live show. Um, we're going world bound. Um, I don't really know where our next destination is. Um, but yeah, we're locked and loaded. Energy is high. We have our every, sponsor, Walmart. <laughs> every Walmart. Walmart. So Love tonight. Wellness is actually now at Walmart, oh, and it's guys. incredible. Yay, thank you, they sir. sent us to the Eras concert on Friday, and it's the most exciting. Love wellness, the big girly, 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 girly. If you ever feel like a little funky yeah. Yeah. and you're like you having that? your single girl yeah. life, get some boric acid pills. Love wellness. Now pop that in there after a round of yeah. one more baby, you know, yeah. and you'll yeah. be all good to go. Yeah, shout out love wellness. They're gonna get one together. Yep, 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 yep. And like it's like this is what I'm used to. So now that he's like sharing it, and millions of people are like liking it too, it's just like it's awesome. Oh, it's so funny. He's so funny. I just love y'all's friendship because it does seem just so like pure and genuine. Yeah. And it reminds you of like your like my. It reminds me of my best friends. Yeah. And it's just I don't know. There's something about it. And I love the laugh track. I think it like makes the video better. You yeah. Know? Yeah. I mean, it's it's like like I said like. Jules and I like have been there for him and he's been there for us like through whatever so it, it is very like genuine and like we love him and like he loves us and it's so funny like one of his like fan accounts made like an edit of us the other day like Brett and Jake and 